truck route signs are used to mark a route that has been designated to allow truck traffic. There are many differences in the routes you could be given. Each truck route varies in the amount of time spent on the road and the type of cargo carried. No truck sign usually means no trucks as a through route. Local deliveries are normally exempt. But not always, that sign can have different meanings depend on where it's posted. On most highways, the mile markers also coordinate with the exit numbers. If you know you're headed for exit 29 and you just passed mile marker 39, then you know you've got approximately 10 miles to go until you reach your exit. In this way, mile markers can help you keep track of where you are and how far away you are from certain exits. Mile markers on interstate highways can also help you determine which direction you're going. On most interstates, if you are traveling north mile marker numbers increase and if you are going south the numbers decrease. If you are going east the numbers increase if you are going west the numbers decrease. Low clearance bridges and overpasses, some truck drivers think they can magically squeeze underneath them. Being involved in an accident of this kind is a preventable and the kind that helps you lose a truck driving job faster than you get it. To the best of our knowledge, all permanent low clearances are marked, both on the roads and in the front of a good motor carrier road atlas, some road signs are easy to miss. Slow moving vehicles in the left lane can be potentially dangerous. For this reason, in some states, Large trucks and other slow-moving vehicles are not allowed to drive in the far left lane on a three or more lane highway, or are limited to using the left lane only for passing. It is your responsibility to know the weight and configuration of your vehicle and load. If you do not know the weight of your vehicle and attached trailers, check the weight at a local certified scale facility. In some states, the actual weight may not exceed the declared gross weight on the vehicle registration. It is your responsibility to understand and obey load posting signs. Do not exceed the posted weight limit on any bridge. Bridge weight restriction signs vary between states and localities. Weight limit signs carrying the legend weight limit 15 tons are used to indicate the maximum gross vehicle weight, including equipment being towed by the vehicle, that can safely cross the bridge. An axle weight limit sign applies to axle weight rather than gross load. The sign may read axle weight limit 7.5 tons or axle weight limit 15,000 pounds, indicating the maximum safe axle load of your vehicle and any equipment it is towing. If your load exceed posted capacities do not cross the bridge. Instead take an alternate route that can legally and safely carry your vehicles the consequences of violating a bridge weight limit sign can be expensive subjecting the bridge to vehicles that are heavier than the structure is able to carry safely can cause damage both visible and hidden, which could lead to closure or failure of the bridge. You may be cited with a traffic violation for not obeying a regulatory sign. You may be held liable for damages if you violate the load posting. This sign warn drivers of vehicles with a high center of gravity, such as trucks, tankers, and recreational vehicles, of a curve or turn having geometric conditions that are prone to cause such vehicles to lose control and overturn. To prevent rollover slow down. Obey the speed limits and take it slow around corners. Stay alert. Ensure your truck is road legal. Understand the design and performance of the type of truck you will be driving. Always make sure loads are secured. This sign warns you about a hill or a downgrade up ahead on the road. Slow down and be ready to shift to lower gear to control speed and save brakes. Remember that making U-turns and passing other vehicles on hills is forbidden, these maneuvers become dangerous due to low visibility. Make sure to follow the safe procedure when stopping on a hill. Always set the parking brake. Weigh stations are in place to ensure trucks do not exceed the maximum axle weight and gross vehicle weight of 80,000 pounds without the proper permit. They are operated by the Department of Transportation or Department of Motor Vehicles depending on the state. Weigh stations categorize loads as either divisible or non-divisible. Divisible loads can be divided into smaller groups such as pallets. Non-divisible loads are large equipment. The interstate highway system is one of our nation's great assets, relied on every day by motor coach, truck and automobile drivers across the U.S. 
The sign board gives you the exit number, city and or state and the miles to that destination, left exit or right exit, the clue is on the sign. Check out the Zello channel. Island Truckers Unite.